me take you through a quick tutorial on how to visualize Steph Curry's shot data with Matplotlib and Seaborn. If you want to see the full tutorial, check out the YouTube video linked in the comments. So for this example, you're going to need to import pandas, numpy, matplotlib, and seaborn. I'm also going to go ahead and import my data set and do some basic data cleaning. I'm just using this NBA player shot data set from Kaggle. All right, so in this data set, we have some spatial data about where each shot was taken. We have the fields top and left as coordinates. But these are image coordinates, so we need to convert them to match actual NBA court dimensions. So all we have to do is shift the left field back 240 units, and we don't need to do anything to the top field. Now that we've converted the coordinates, we need to define a new function to draw an NBA half court. So in the full YouTube video tutorial, I have all of this code linked in the description of the video, so you can just copy and paste it and draw your own half court. But basically, it's just a bunch of geometric shapes sized correctly to create a half court drawn to scale. Let's just go ahead and print out this half court so you can see what it looks like. So we're going to create a new figure and axis using matplotlib, and we're going to call the NBA court function and pass it to the axis we just created. All right, so I'll go ahead and run this code, and there's the half court drawing. Now we can create our heat map using Seaborn. So let's just go through each and every one of these arguments in this function. I defined my x and my y as the x and y coordinates that we converted at the beginning of the video. I set fill to true to fill in the contours instead of just drawing lines around zones of high density. I set the color map to reds. I set the bandwidth adjustment to 0.8 to make the heat map slightly tighter around the data points. I set the transparency to 60% so you can still see the half court drawing behind the heat map. And I set the contour detail to 100 to make the heat map smooth and detailed. I set the minimum density threshold to 0.05 so if there's almost no data in an area of the heat map it won't be shown. And I set the axis equal to itself because I want to draw the heat map on the same axis as the court. Lastly, I'll go ahead and add a title to my plot. And when I run this code, there's my heat map showing where Steph Curry took the most shots.